Welcome to Custom Spray Mods. In this video, we're going to go over how to get rid of runs in your paintwork. But we're going to start with how to eliminate runs altogether. Basically, why you've got the runs, how to get rid of them mid paint job, and then how to get rid of them once the paint is dried and all, all cleared up and dried, how to get rid of those runs. So, before we get started, what is a run? Well, basically, you've painted something, say you've painted a panel. You've sprayed your paint, you sprayed your clear coat, and all of a sudden you come back and you notice that you've got a little drip of paint or clear in your paintwork. It's, um, yeah, so basically the clear is built up too much and it's caused it to fall down the job and um, looks like a drip of paint, and that sucks. So in this video, we're gonna go over how to get rid of it and why you got it, and um, yeah, let's do it. See ya. Alrighty, so there's a few reasons why you got the run in your paintwork in the first place. Uh, one reason could be your paint mixture, your mixing ratios. So um, if your paint isn't mixed correctly, then well, it might be too thin and that's not going to hang on to the panel as good as it should. So I've got a great video um, on how to mix your paint correctly. Check it out, it gives you some uh, good info on how to get your paint and ratio thinners and hardeners mixed all incorrectly. Check that out, it can definitely help. And, um, and, and, and it will decrease the chances of getting a run if your paint's mixed correctly. Paint mix. The next one, spray gun setup. If your spray gun isn't set up correctly, well then, it might be spraying too much product, it might be spraying too much fluid, you might not have enough air pressure. Um, things like this will cause a run. So make sure you've got your spray gun set up correctly, I've got a video about that, check it out. It's a basic guide, it's a basic setup on how to set up your gun. Um, that can change depending on your technique or the type of gun that it is. But um, follow that guide and it will decrease the chances of getting a run, definitely. Okay, another reason why you might get runs in your paintwork is technique. So you, uh, you don't really have a good technique and that has caused the paint to run. So maybe you've uh, sprayed the same area too many times, there's a buildup of clear or paint, it's got nowhere else to go but run down the panel. Uh, if it's an, a, a curved surface, maybe you forgot that you went over that area and that's caused too much paint and that's run. You could have put your spray gun too close to the panel and that's going to cause it to run as well. So there's a few things that might be causing runs. Um, paint mixture, spray gun setup and technique. If you get these things right, it will definitely decrease the chances you have of getting a run in your paintwork. So, do that. Okay, so you've got your spray gun set up correctly, you've got your, uh, your paint all mixed the right way, uh, but you still managed to get a run. So you've painted, you've clear coated, you notice you've got a big run in your panel. Well, the, the best way to get rid of that run is to eliminate it before the paint dries. Before the clear coat dries, it's gonna be rock hard. So if you can somehow get rid of that run while the paint's still wet, then it'll be a lot easier for you. So I'm going to base up this panel, clear it, try and get a run, and then we'll go over a way to get rid of the run before the clear dries. Let's do it. Okay, I sprayed my base coat down. Now I sprayed one coat of clear. Now I'm gonna try and get a run in the paintwork and then see how we can fix it from there. Well, the clear is still wet, so let's try and get a run. Here we go. There you go. I've got a nice dirty run right there. That will ruin your day. You can see that it's hanging down, just like my picture. Little doodle. Now while the clear's wet, I'm gonna spray a crap load of clear over it and try and get the clear to run straight off the panel all the way to the end, and I can just wipe it off from there. So obviously there's no run at the top here, so we're gonna try and get the run so it runs all the way down and even out the clear, it's very difficult but we'll give it a go. Here 
there was a run. I um, ran the clear straight off the panel. Um, normally you don't have these holes in a panel. There is a bit of clear that's built up there. But uh, yeah, normally there's no holes, so you could just run it straight off the panel and basically eliminate the run all the way down the bottom. As you can see, the clear's all built up there. Rather have a run down there than all the way at the top. So that's another way to get rid of your runs before they dry. Okay, so we've gone over how to eliminate runs before you start painting. We've gone over how to eliminate runs once you notice them in the middle of painting your clear coat. Um, another way to eliminate runs is to use gravity. The reason why the paint's running is because the gravity's pulling it down, causing the paint to run. So if you can take that out of the equation, then it's definitely going to decrease the amount of runs you get. And maybe you won't even get any at all, just by smashing the clear on as hard as you can. So if you have the option, if your panel is off the car, and you have the option to paint it uh, like that, like horizontal, then definitely do it because clear coat can just sit on there, dry, nice and flat. You don't have to worry about putting too much clear, getting a run. So gravity is your friend. Okay, so that's all well and good if you notice that there's a run while you're painting, which definitely uh, helps when you come back and inspect your panel right after you've done the clear coat. That way you can try and fix those problems before it dries. What if that doesn't happen? What if you don't check your cart, you clear, and um, you, not, you come back the next day, the paint's all dry, you get a run. So I'm going to put a run in the middle of this panel, we'll let it dry, see how we can fix it. Alrighty, so we've got our panel, it's got a run in it. Now the clear's dried overnight, so it's rock solid, and it's time to start trying to get rid of that run. So we've got our panel basically here, like that and there's a run right in the middle of it, like that. Now, if we look at the panel like flat, so you can see just the paint, basically the panel is flat like that, and what you've got is the run sticking up out of the paintwork like that. You can actually feel it if you rub your hand over the run. So the idea to get rid of it is to sand the, the run down and uh, get it level with the rest of the clear. Once you've done that, you can buff the panel and um, you won't have a run anymore. So that's the idea. Okay, so there's a few ways to go about this. Uh, one way is to just put your sandpaper on a block and start sanding. Uh, that can cause a problem because the block is, uh, most sanding blocks are soft. And instead of only sanding the run, what can happen is you have your block and because the block isn't actually uh, firm or stiff, the block will uh, flex and you'll end up sanding around the run as well as the run. So what happens is you sand through the clear and go straight through the base coat. And that's gonna cause problems. You don't wanna do that. Um, so definitely don't just use a normal block when you're sanding out your run. The best way to go about it, if you wanna sand it, basically um, there's your panel, there's your run. Use a, a really stiff block, uh, something made out of uh, plastic, hard plastic or wood. Um, some people use these, we've used these before, it's a wooden mixing stick. Basically you can put the sandpaper around it because it's really stiff, it's only going to sand the run and it's not going to sand anything else. So eventually you'll sand that down all the way until it's smooth and level with the rest of the panel. Then you can either buff it or re-clear the panel. So that's that. Okay, so instead of using a sanding block to knock down most of the run, you can use something else. If you've got uh, your panel and you've got quite a few runs, you can use a, uh, something to just knock that down before you start sanding. It can take a long time to sand, so uh, yeah, if you're in a rush, you want to do it quickly or you want to get it down and, and make sure you don't sand the rest of the panel, you can use a, a razor blade. Um, if you're going to do this, use a brand new razor blade and basically what that does is scrape the clear until it's all level, then you can start sanding. So yeah, it's a bit risky because you've got a chance of really gouging the panel. So make sure you be careful if you do that method. But it can get the run out pretty quickly and make the paint level. Okay, so the safest way to get rid of the run in your paintwork is to basically sand it out. So we're gonna do that on this panel. But there is a way to uh, sand that run out and not risk sanding um, around the run. So you got your run, you got your panel, run sticking up. There's a way to sand it without having to risk sanding the rest of the panel. And we're gonna do that on this panel right now. Check it out. Okay, now I'm gonna mix up some fine body filler. So as you can see, I put in my fine filler over the run 
and I've feathered all the edges, that's going to make it easy to sand. And um, yeah, so there's filler all around the top of the run and around the nice clean paint that we don't want to touch. So when I eventually sand this, I'm going to be sanding the filler and the top of that clear until it gets level with the rest of the panel. So we're going to do that once this dries. Okay, I've got a block and I've got some 320 grit wet sandpaper. I'm going to start sanding this and uh, trying to get that run to be as flat as the rest of the panel. sand out all those 320 grit scratch marks. And to do that, I'm gonna use 600 grit. You wanna try and double your sandpaper grit. So if you've started with 320, double it, it's around 600. If you go 600, after that, you wanna use 1200. After 1200, you wanna double it again, you get something like 2000. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much the, uh, the guide for sanding. Okay, so I had this panel, sprayed the clear coat, purposely put a run here. Um, I needed to get rid of it, so I let the clear dry, put the uh, body filler over the, over the run, sanded it with 320 grit wet, then 600 grit wet, then 1200, then 2000. Now I'm going to give it a buff and a polish, and um, it'll come up as good as new. Now you have to weigh up what uh, method of getting rid of the run is best for you. From here, once you get rid of that run, you can either sand the whole panel and try and clear it again but that can be risky. You could get another run, you could get more dust in it. So, you just gotta weigh it up, go with what you like. Okay, now that I've uh, used the compound, I'm gonna use some soil remover and a uh, softer pad and just get it looking a bit better. This is like a, think of it as a finer sanding grit. It's gonna get out those fine scratches. Okay, and as you can see, the run, it's completely gone. I'm just gonna put a bit of polish, just to give it that nice look, a bit more protection. Okay, so I had this panel, put a run in it. I put the body filler over the run, sanded it with 320 grit wet, then 600, then 1200, then finally sanded with 2000 grit wet sandpaper. Then I used some cutting compound, a foam buff pad, I buffed those 2000 grit sandpaper scratches out, then I used some swell remover, finally applied a polish. Now that's just uh, one way to get rid of a run. I've gone over a few different ways. Now from that stage, once you've sanded it all down, you can sand the whole panel and try and clear it again. But you run the risk of getting uh, dust in it or getting another run. So it's up to you which method you choose. Apart from that, that was it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you next time.